Hi, I'm Olivia. Hi, I'm Margie, and we're from Girl Scout Troop 85020, and we're working on our Girl Scout Silver Award. When we started thinking about our Silver Award, we thought about how much we enjoyed being outside. This eventually led us to talking about our least favorite part of being outside, mosquitoes. After some research, we learned that the mosquitoes are a part of nature, they can be harmful to the environment by spreading many diseases. We decided that the issue we wanted to address for our Silver Award project was how communities can manage the growing population of disease-carrying mosquitoes without harming the environment. One method used for managing mosquitoes and other crop-destroying insects is by using pesticides. Pesticides are toxic chemicals used for destroying insects or other organisms harmful to plants or to animals. There are a number of ways to protect your garden from pests, but you have to be smart about it. Some pesticides kill more species than they are intended to kill and can even cause chronic poisoning in humans. If toxic pesticides are applied to loose soil, they can find their way into runoff and eventually into water supplies, making them even more dangerous. There are a number of ways to protect your garden from bugs without causing damage to the environment. Using ladybugs to repel aphids, neem oil soap and water can be used on any plants. Sprinkling Epsom salt works too. However, one of the most efficient and adorable ways to keep out pests is bats. Bats are a natural insecticide and can eat about 6,000 to 8,000 insects per night, including mosquitoes. They commonly live in caves or under large bridges. If you don't live near either of these locations, you can still attract bats by building or buying a bat house. Though bats are a great natural pesticide, they currently are facing a number of challenges. A leading cause of death for bats is habitat loss and deforestation. As forests continue to be shut down for lumber, farming, or shelter, safe homes for bats are lost. However, the most fatal thing bats encounter are toxic pesticides and insecticides. Pesticides are often found in bat carcasses, brains, and droppings. They have been known to kill off bats, bees, birds, and frogs by contaminating natural food sources. Bats can also be killed off by white nose syndrome, a fungal disease. Bats who carry white nose syndrome often wake up from hibernation and die because the white nose syndrome diminishes their built up fat needed to survive the winter. Oftentimes the same thing can happen to healthy bats woken up from hibernation. They starve to death. It's important to remember never to wake up hibernating bats. Bats are one of the slowest reproducing mammals in the world. They only have one pup or baby bat a year. This slow reproductive rate is being slowed even more when bats ingest toxic insecticides and pesticides. We want to support bats in their important role in the environment. We chose to support them by building bat houses. Bat houses are easy to build and you can buy bat house kits online to make it even easier. You can also get pre-built bat houses. The average bat house costs a little less than $30. Once you have your bat house, you just need to hang it in a sunny spot about 10 to 20 feet off the ground. Bat houses don't require much maintenance at all. After approximately one year, the bats will begin to eat nearby mosquitoes and other harmful bugs. Yeah. Bat houses are usually small in size and can be nailed up on a tree or a post. They're usually shaped like shoe boxes and can hold about 20 to 40 bats. Bats can fly up through the bottom of the box and they hang upside down on these ridges when they sleep during the day. Bats are often thought of as scary, blind, blood-sucking creatures who are hostile toward humans. These are stereotypes. In reality, bats can see quite well at night and use their echolocation to get to their food, which is mainly bugs. The most common bats living in New England are little brown bats, which are small and harmless. We have been spreading the word about bats at farmers markets and to other Girl Scouts. We strongly encourage the use of bat houses and discontinuing the use of toxic pesticides. We hope everyone will learn about the dangers of disease spreading mosquitoes and insecticides and the positive impact bats have on the environment.